I didn't know really the challenges related to cloud computing and, and, and even the real definition before. And this is really highlighting the different dimensions, including the feeder workshops, which is a very interesting format. Very quickly, what I take out or I understand from the discussion and I want to share is, first of all, I would rather understand it as the clouds in the, few, in the plural rather than the cloud. The expression the cloud reminds me too much of the grid that we were talking in the past and actually what we're talking about is on-demand computing power from shared data center service providers. So it is about a multiplication of, um, of cloud computing uh, platforms. Uh, the other thing I take out is the notion that I think Michael Katundu was, was mentioning. It's that things have been existing in the past. We are moving in a qualitative change that has been produced by a quantitative evolution, which is making this accessible to individual users. Um, the, the next thing is I see a, dis a distinction, and correct me if I'm wrong, between the cloud uh, computing platforms that are serving one single user, like Facebook having 40,000 uh, computers, and uh, service providers for third party. Uh, and in this respect, I see a tension between, as uh, Bob Pepper said, between the distributed capacity and the need for centralization for optimizing. Am I correct in guessing that the uh, topology of the, uh, of the system will be in a power law distribution, like uh, a few very large ones and a lot of very small ones distributed. And finally, uh, I see this as an evolution in the um, next stage. Uh, we had the internet mostly around email and so on. We have the web. And this is a third generation with uh, virtual territories, but we'll come back to that later.